in this video today we're going to be talking about megapixels so do megapixels really matter if you don't want to stay through this whole video my conclusion is yes and no if you want the details on why i came to the conclusion yes and no then stick around till the end of this video and uh, i'm gonna explain it a little bit more on why the megapixels matter and why i think they don't okay guys so let's go megapixels matter because the higher the megapixels basically means the more uh, resolution the camera is which means the more quality the picture is going to have or in this case the more quality the video is going to have right so the more megapixels means the more uh, the quality of video is going to have a higher megapixel camera captures more details than a lower resolution camera which means a lower megapixel camera right so in this case uh, a, uh, a camera such as the sony a7r4 captures more details than a camera like uh, the sony a6000 because of the megapixel difference right and also another thing that you need to look at is the camera sensor so the full frame sensor is a bigger sensor which means it lets in more light right and uh, the crop sensor which the a6000 has it's a crop sensor which means it's a smaller sensor so it doesn't let in as much light as the bigger sensor right so that also plays a huge role in the quality of the image right so you have to also look at the you know the, the sensor size of the camera another thing you have to look at is the camera's dynamic range is the dynamic range good on your camera so the dynamic range will help your camera capture more details when it comes to like you know the darker areas and the lighter areas so um let's say if let's say you are filming and your your image is blown out right so if your camera has a good dynamic range you're gonna you know kind of return more details in post-production and uh if let's say you, your shadows were too much you can kind of return some of the details in the shadows if your camera has better dynamic range so you have to also look at the dynamic range of the camera so that's also going to play a role in you know in an image quality right the dynamic range of the camera another thing you also have to look at is the equipment that you pair up your camera with which is like in this case the lens so the lens matters too you know you you can't you, you can have a better uh a camera with uh higher megapixels large sensor but if you put on a shitty lens then the quality might not be that good because the lens is just shitty but if you put on like you know a, a zeiss lens or a high-end like let's say uh a sony g lens or uh a, a canon's you know the l lenses l glass lenses um those lenses are really good so also all that uh, factors into how the image looks when it comes out right and also like the more expensive lenses have you can go to like a 1.2 aperture which will let in more light you know which will make a better image and also it can help you out in low light situations if you have um you know uh, a lens with um, a lower aperture which will be like a low um um 1.2 1.4 lenses which will be good in low light so also that you know factors into the whole thing not just the megapixels of the camera and um and it also factors into the settings that you use every time you are filming or taking pictures so the iso the aperture the shutter speed all these you know all these um settings all factor into your image quality and they complement the megapixel so it's not just the megapixel that matters it's all these things put together that matter another thing to factor in is the camera's um engine so in this case like the processor right the the brains of the camera so how good is the brains of the camera uh sony came out with the with the bions xr engine uh, a new processor that they have which is basically the engine of the camera the brains so it's a faster engine and you know it handles um larger files with ease so that helps to um you know that helps with 
the the uh, with the with the megapixels because you can have a high megapixel, but uh, let's say you have a um, a shitty camera, a shitty engine, it's not gonna work. It's kind of like you know, like um, putting a, a sedan's engine in a semi truck. You know, it's not gonna work. It's like putting a go kart engine into you know an SUV. It's just not gonna have the power to pull that weight. So a semi truck will need a sem uh, an engine equivalent to pulling that weight with it, you know, to carry all the, the heavy lifting. So the, the engine matters too behind the cameras. Okay, so that's why all these things factor into how the image looks and how your camera works, you know. So you gotta look at all these things too, not just the megapixels of the camera. Just because you have a high megapixel doesn't mean you, um, you know, you automatically going to get a better image than somebody who has a lower megapixel camera. You know what I mean? In fact, all these things factor in. Maybe they got a better lens, they got a better engine, stuff like that. You know, so another thing about the megapixels, what's what's a good thing about megapixels is cropping. So when it comes to cropping, the higher the megapixels, the the better the quality of, of the image going to look even if you crop it. Okay, so if you zoom in, it's still gonna look good because you have a uh, higher you have a higher megapixel count, which means there's a lot of details in the image, so it's not gonna lose that much quality. So if you blow that out, let's say um, if you like zoom in, if you zoom in, you're still gonna have more details in um, an image with more megapixels than one with less megapixels. So this is good for video. If let's say you take still uh footage like still shots well in this case video still uh video and let's say you want to add motion in the video if you took the if you shot on a higher megapixel high resolution um camera you can still kind of like crop in and move the, the the footage and you're still gonna not lose as much quality as um it would on a lower megapixel camera so the fact that you can kind of crop in is a good thing with if you have a camera with a higher megapixel count. So the only issue is the processing speed. So if your camera doesn't have a good engine, like I said, it's gonna be slow. It's gonna have um, high megapixels and everything, but if the engine is not that good that's behind that camera, it's gonna be really slow as compared to like a camera with uh, lower megapixels. You know, the camera with lower megapixels won't struggle as much as one with higher megapixels because the one with higher megapixels has has to you know capture all that detail it has to record all that detail process all that all those details right so it's going to be slow but if it's got a better engine of course it's going to be fast but that's where you know you pay more money you pay for um you you know you you pay for what you get right so that's the case but that's the only issue here but in some cameras it's not an issue it depends on of course like you know the technology that's coming now is like better processing speeds and stuff like that so that helps out a lot because like these files can be huge files that's brings me to another point like the higher the megapixels the larger your file size is going to be kind of like if you're shooting in 720p you're not it's not going to be as huge as a file is um, compared to if you're shooting in 8K or 4K. So 4K files are really huge because of all the details in those files. So it's gonna, the camera has to do a lot of um, heavy lifting, but that comes with the, you know, with the number of all these pixels and stuff like that. So that's the thing to kind of look at too. You have to make sure the soft, the processing engine of your camera is um, on point. So, which brings me to my conclusion here. Do megapixels really matter? So the answer is yes and no. They matter if you are gonna be printing your images. So in this case with uh, videographers like us, we don't really have to worry about megapixels like that. I mean, we could, I mean, we could get cameras with more megapixels, but you also have to look at the sensor size, the engine, and all that stuff. That's why the more high-end cameras that have better engines and uh, good in low light, high megapixels, that's
That's why those cameras cost more because of what they do for you. Okay, because of all that um, ingenuity in these cameras. So that's why it's like that. But mostly when it comes to photography, I feel like if you print your images and if you do any print, whatever printing, you're gonna need a camera with high megapixels. But then again, it depends on the, the print sizes that you wanna do. If you're just doing four by six prints, you don't need like 50 megapixels. Sometimes even the uh, 18 megapixels is good for like four by six. But if you're doing like a billboard and stuff like that, if you, sh if you shoot that on like a 50 megapixel camera, that's better because I mean, it's gonna still, ha it's gonna have more details than one cat than a camera with less megapixels. So that's a good thing, but um, that all depends on are you going to be printing your photos or not? Because also, if you look at like um, most people now just like share photos through online and uh, websites like Facebook and stuff like that. Right. So do you really need 50 megapixels to put a picture on Facebook? No, no you don't. Right. It's, it's not going to matter because people won't even see the difference. Like. You know, you, you it's going to capture all those details, but people usually just scroll past people's pictures like, oh, OK, they, like when like, have you ever looked at somebody's picture on Facebook and wondered, did they shoot this in uh, 8K or did they shoot this in uh, 720p or did or whatever camera they used? Was this a 12 megapixel camera they used or was this a 50 megapixel or was it an 8 megapixel? You won't even tell, right? You won't even tell the freaking difference because it's the freaking phone, right? So this whole megapixel thing, like honestly, people just like blow it out of proportion. But the main thing is like people don't even notice, you know, people don't even notice, especially like, let's say for wedding filmmakers, um, when we tell brides, oh, we're going to shoot your video in 4K. Some of them don't even care. Like, oh, what's the actually ask? Like, what is 4K? Because like people don't even like know most people, the majority of people don't know what 4K is, right? Like these people that we shoot weddings for, most of them like are in other professions. They're RNs, they're pilots, you know, they're plumbers, they're like bankers. Like they don't even care about like they just all they all they want is good quality. You know what I mean? And they don't know what 8K is going to do. They don't know what 1080p. 1080p is good for me, but you know what I'm saying? So all this megapixel thing just like people just like you know it just i don't know people just like uh what's that word misconclude or some shit you know it, it just like uh it just bothers me why people care so much about the megapixels like you know you have to worry more about all these other things that are complementing your camera's megapixel not just the megapixel of your camera okay guys because like it's the sony a7s it's a 12 megapixel camera but it's still a good camera for videos and it's one of the most um sought after camera for low light filming and uh in our case wedding filmmakers we need that camera for receptions because of the low light capabilities so 12 megapixels but professionals use that camera right so that's where you see that 12 megapixels really is good and uh, megapixels really matters on all these other things as well and uh, the more um, the you, you got to look at all these, the sensor size and all these things. So it all depends on your usage. It all depends on what you do uh, with uh, whatever your industry is and um, whatever you're trying to do with your camera, you know, so it depends on what you're doing. So they don't really matter, but it, it all depends on what you are doing with the camera. If you're going to be blowing up prints and doing all that stuff, then yeah, they might help. But if you're just going to be filming stuff to put online, um, not really. You know what I mean? People won't even notice a difference. So the conclusion uh, that I've come up with is yes and no megapixels matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy, Francis.